How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today we're going to go over the Generac GP8000E. I want to go over the Generac GP8000E in today's video. I used this thing for nine days after Hurricane Michael. I went without power for nine days. And then when I had power restored to my property, I then let my father-in-law borrow it. He went another 13 days. He went a total of 22 days without power. And so this thing has got well over 200 hours on it and it's been ticking ever since. So let's talk about some of the particulars, see if it's something that you're, you would be interested in for a backup home generator. You know, Generac, Generac makes the whole home generators as well, but this one, it, it can power most of your appliances. Let's talk about this, the front of the generator itself. Down here you have the battery. The battery is something that makes the generator very easy to start. Uh, I haven't charged it at all, and so it sits for months at a time. Now, I will say this. Every, about, every 30 days or so, I crank this thing up and let it run for about five minutes because I don't want the, you know, I, I use non-ethanol fuel in it, but I don't want fuel to clog the carburetor or the fuel lines. So I actually crank this thing once a month. So let's talk about all the things that go on in the front, not just the battery, but you can see here, it has a breaker on it, and this is a 240 plug. So you can actually wire this to the house. So you can plug it into your breaker box or your breaker panel inside the house and then plug it into your generator. So just plug it in and now your generator can power your whole house or basically your whole house. It, it's 8,000 watts, it does a lot of work for you. And then of course you have, you have four outlets here, the GFI protected. Two reset uh, 20 amp breakers here, uh, fuses. And then here you have your off, run, and start switch. All right, let's crank this thing up. Let's see what it sounds like. We'll get the choke turned on here. It's kind of cold. Got the fuel on. I'll show you that here in a sec. And now let's crank it up. Okay, so it's not super quiet, but it's not super loud. And so if you put this on your back porch or something like that during a storm or after the storm has passed and you're without power, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be annoying, I guess is what you say. As we make our way around the generator, you can see this side of it where it has the pull start, which you have here. It has the fuel shut off petcock. It has the air filter and it has the choke lever above the air filter. It also has a handle that you push, you place your pin in it, and now you've got a handle for transport, or you can tuck it away for storage. One important thing to remember while you're using a generator is make sure that you have the exhaust pointed out into a well-ventilated area. You don't want to use it inside a garage. You don't want to use it inside a room. You know, put it on an open air back porch or something like that. And here you have the hot, set, what I call the hot section of the generator, right? So you have your, your muffler and your engine comp components that would generate heat. So you want to make sure you don't touch this side during the operation of the generator. On top of the generator, it has a fuel gauge and a very wide filler neck here. And so it's easy to put your fuel in. It's got a, also it's got a, a little filter screen in it for your fuel. So no problems there. Now on the back side of the generator, you have your muffler and the generator itself. You know, this is what produces the power out of this particular area here of the generator. Altogether, this thing weighs 200 pounds. Uh, so it's not light, but it's not super heavy. It is, you know, on wheels. It's very sturdy construction. And it's easy to move from one place to the next, uh, you know, with the handles and the durable wheels. or the. And so I've been really, really pleased with this Generac GP8000E. If you're looking for a generator to provide power after a storm or after inclement weather or something like that, I, I recommend Generac. I've been really, really pleased with it. Like I said earlier in the video, we've used this thing over 200 hours and it's really, really been good for us. I keep it full of fuel or this has got half a tank in it, you know, and I keep it, I run it about once a month or so so that 
um, the engine stays fresh, <laughs> I guess. And uh, because I, you don't want this thing to have a dead battery or clogged up fuel lines the day you need it. So you do some type of preventative maintenance, scheduled maintenance on it to make sure that it's ready and good operating condition the day you need it. I did a review of a Harbor Freight generator and you can watch that video here. And as always, you can click that little white circle to subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Generac GP8000. You guys take care. We'll catch you on the next one.